guys, welcome back to Trucking and Troubles. Bryce Sean here, hope everybody's doing well. Eating a little yogurt my girl made for me. Pretty good, pretty good. Bring it young. Homemade. But, today we're gonna talk about what's it like working for Schneider. I know uh, a couple people want to hear about it. I'm gonna tell you straight off the bat, it's a great company. Straight off the bat. I'm gonna go ahead and finish some of this yogurt real quick and I get back to it. Alright guys, so the deal is working for Schneider, obviously they're a mega carrier. So you gotta take that into account when working for Schneider. They're not some small company out there, they're not made trucking, they're not you know, I mean, they're bigger, they're a bigger company. So they're gonna have pay that is gonna reflect being a bigger company. Um, they definitely pay better than Swift. I'll tell you that right now. My co-driver previously worked for Swift before she came over here, which is we just started working for Schneider about a month and a half ago. So um, I did all my research. Like I did as much research as I possibly could to choose the best company I want to go with when I first started trucking. And who is this? We got go to logistics. Why as fuck? Don't work for them. <laughs> but anyways, working for Schneider is being probably the best decision I've ever made. The training is the best. Uh, when it comes to being new, you're gonna new to trucking, you're gonna be working for Schneider for about three weeks before you get your own truck. If you're six months experienced then you're gonna be working at Schneider for, and training for about a week. So the training, physical training is about a week, but you're gonna be in this type of limbo training when you're out on the road for about three months. So they wanna make sure that they're choosing the best drivers to drive for them. And one of the comments I had is, do they micromanage? No, they don't micromanage you, but at the same time, you gotta make sure that you're not messing up out here on the road and you're getting at least eight hours a day of driving. If you're not getting at least eight hours a day, when you do your daily check-in call, you're gonna have to, you know, explain why you're not getting those eight hours a day. So take that into account. Um, every day you'll have to do a check-in call for the first week, it will be, it's either the first week or the first two weeks you'll have to you'll have to um do a check-in call but they will call and then after that home time you'll have to call your first home time you'll have to call in and then depending on how, how your start date works which is i'm doing 18 days on three days off so i basically went through training and my 18 days before I switched over to my second phase of, of training, which is kind of confusing because when you start with Schneider, you'll go through three phases on the three weeks, but on the um, four weeks, that's when you start a different type of phase of training. So you'll be on phase one, and then you'll take your home time, be on phase two, and so on, all the way up until three months. And the three months don't include the three weeks of training so it'll be really like three months and three weeks and that's the only type of micromanage that they do they don't call you every day saying and they never even called me for when I how I just said they call you they're supposed to call you and on the first week of training when you're out here on the road they never even called me. they I had to call them each time but I just did it I didn't even realize it until after the fact but I just did it, it did it doesn't bother me like once i'm done driving just give them a call it takes like five seconds not literally probably like a minute or two and unless you're on hold it'll take a little longer but it was super easy for me i just called in they just said do you have any questions for me is there anything you're worried about on the road um is there anything you're falling behind on that you feel like you know you need some assistance with just advice you know it's like a it's like a counselor every day I know for some people who've been in the game for probably years or two, a year or so, I'm not sure if you have to do that, but I feel like you do because you've never worked for Schneider. You don't know their systems. You don't know their tablet. You don't know, you know what I mean? 
it's not the same as everybody else. They're different. They're mega carriers, so they're going to do things a little different than other mega carriers or other smaller companies. So I have not had no problems with them. They've been a great company to me. Every time I needed, needed a question answered, I just called in. They answered it. Everybody's been nice. It's probably been like one person that, you know, made me a little bit rough on the phone, but. You know, who knows? It could be a really nice person. It's just how they, their phone talk is. And um, the pay, I'm going to get to that in another video. So stick around, subscribe if you want to hear about the pay in other videos. It's going to be a wide variety. So I'll be able to drop that down for you, lot, for you guys. Um, honestly, they don't micromanage you. I'll tell you that right now. They don't micromanage you. You get, you're out here on the road, you're doing your own thing. I'm new. They're trusting me with a $250,000 vehicle. I'm like a 2023, baby. You know what I mean? They're trusting me, and they're not calling me every day, checking up on the vehicle. They're not making taking recordings all the time, you know? Um, I just went through my first roadside inspection, which I'll talk about that in another video, too. Um, it's going to be actually my next video. So subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell if you want to watch that video. It's going to be all for my California drivers. The regional California, local California. Check that video out. It's going to be the next video. But yeah, it's it's a dope, it's a dope, um, it's a dope company. Honestly, I say it over and over again. Um, the weekly pay. They do guarantee that. I had a question. Uh, I had a question about that, but like I said, I'm gonna go more in depth about that in my next, in my not my next video, but in another video about pay. And the company just has your back. You know, they give you great, great uh, trucks. All the trucks are brand new. They do not. Uh, I repeat, they are not and do not have inward facing cameras. If you hear that from anybody, it is a lie. They specifically tell us that in training, that they don't have that and they do not plan on ever having that. They respect our privacy as truck drivers and they don't, yeah, they just, they don't care about inward facing cameras. And if you think about it, they have more cameras than most trucks do because I'm in a 2023, most likely you coming in now, especially as team drivers, will have a 2023, most likely. And those trucks have two cameras in the front and two cameras on, well, one camera on each side of the truck. So you, they are covered with cameras. They don't need an inward facing camera to watch you inside the truck. And plus you're a team and it's just, it's just if you're on teams, uh, solo drivers, I like I said, they say they're not gonna have it. Maybe they might have it for solo drivers. I don't know, but they said it specifically in training. The question popped up a lot. They will not be having any more basic cameras. They do not plan on it because they trust their drivers and they want our drivers to feel like they have privacy. So keep that in mind. They will not have any more facing cameras. You don't have to worry about that. And actually, I think they have three cameras in the front. I think they have two cameras in this like box. Okay, I'm gonna show you. So they have like, two cameras in here and then one camera right there and then on the sides right here they have one camera on each side that's it so you don't have to worry about you know that inward facing camera no time soon they don't like they don't have it they won't have it it's, it's a great company i'm gonna say that over and over and over and over again i did my research this is the company i wanted to go with because they were the best the training is the best the people are the best it's not like all these other videos I hear out there where, you know, they had to deal with, you know, asshole trainers and the company just not looking out for them. Like, like they look out for you when it comes to your logs. If you have a log violation, they'll send you an email or they'll pop, they'll pop a notification will pop up on your tablet and let you know like, hey, there's a log violation. Try to make that correction. They'll let you correct your logs. Um, they will help you with anything you need on the tablet. You call in and let them know, or if they see that you missed something, they'll remind you, hey, just let you know that you missed this. If you need help with it, let us know. Um, because they want, if you ever get pulled over, they want to make sure that you are locked down and you don't have no issues. 
and if you need them to do something for you they'll do it um, you know your DBOs are your boss but at the same time you're their boss too because you let them know when you want to drive how you want to drive and they tell you that in training you, you let them know when you want to drive how you want to drive and they'll let you know you know what loads you'll get what answer some questions obviously they have a little higher power over you when it comes to if you get in trouble or something like that but other than that you know you're a captain of your own ship they emphasize that all day long through training and me like i just feel like i've been road tripping i feel like i've been road tripping and getting paid to do it like that's how i feel and i know that if i worked for swift or something like that i would right now i would probably still be with a mentor because they have four weeks with a mentor and not to knock swift i just i don't like how they do their setup that's about it you know what i mean and i that's just based off the research that i've done so with that being said there's really nothing much i can say about about schneider everything is to par everything is up to par you're gonna love it working for them um like i said everybody's great here all right guys so now i talked about all the good let me get into a little bit of the bad. We recently got a paycheck that didn't come back like we wanted it to be. And we felt like there was a little bit of missed payments in there. You feel what I'm saying? But add a little good in it as well. We called a DBL, talked to him about it. And he sat there for like an hour on the phone calculating everything with us. When he did not have to, he could have just been like contact payroll, deal with payroll. But he calculated everything with us and he got down to the nitty gritty. He said, screenshot all this, send it to me, and he's gonna make sure that we get paid. Another thing is when you first start out is you have like 10 different DBLs when you first start out until you get your main DTL. Um, so whenever you call in, you can talk to so many different people. You have, and that was just the bad part. That was just the quick little bad part that, that I want to throw in real quick. Um, that's not it's not major you know they're gonna they will solve the problem uh, any problems that we ever had they solve that problem and they have whenever we have maintenance on the truck or trailer and we couldn't go nowhere which is only once we had a tire blow out on the trailer and they had an emergency team come and handle us and we got back on the road um, they have overnight services, so when the DBL's off work, they have an overnight team that helps handles everything for you too. I'm sure a lot of places have this, um, but it's just great that they offer it too. So, other than that, like I said, great company. I really don't have much else to say. If you have any questions, I can answer it down in the comments below, so go ahead and comment on those, and I got you guys. One more thing I want to emphasize on, you're a captain of your own ship. You do what you want to do out here. Just be safe. That's their number one core value. They don't micromanage you. They don't hit you up, text you all the time to be like, yo, what's going on? What are you doing? Why are you doing this? As long as you're being safe, as long as you're driving like a normal person, you are good. The pay is not low. It's, it's higher than Swift and it's higher than Knight and it's higher than all these other companies, uh, ma mega carriers. I'll tell you that right now. Um, and, is that a Swift? Oh, I thought that was Swift. But, um, and it's a comfortable truck. You know, I'm comfortable all the time. So <clears throat> I hope that answers all your questions. And I'm gonna talk to you guys on the next video. Deuces.